Hey guys, Toast Bomb here again with even more Halo 4 gameplay. Of course, this video is from one of the 12 MLG VODs that were released just a few days ago. Of course, there will be links in the description to all of those VODs if you care to watch them. Now, this video is of Elamite Warriors' perspective instead of Hoaxers, and on the map, Haven as opposed to Adrift. He also uses the BR a little bit more than Hoaxer. Hoaxer kind of stuck towards the carbine, and that's kind of cool because you get to see how the BR is going to function and handle in Halo 4. Elamite Warrior also pretty much just dominates this match in general, so that's always fun to watch. Now, topic of this video, Spartan Ops. Now, if you don't know what Spartan Ops is, it's this episodic content that you will get every week. You will, Every week you'll get this small mission that's about 10 to 15 minutes on normal difficulty. So if you're playing Legendary, you'll it'll be a little bit longer, just because of the difficulty. Now, every week you'll get a new mission, and inside those missions there will be cutscenes and story elements that directly relate to the previous episode, and the Halo 4 camp main campaign. And those episodes make a season. And season 1 will be free for everybody who buys the game. So it doesn't matter if you have the limited edition, or the normal edition, or the super special edition. You will get season 1 of Spartan Ops for free. I'm assuming season 2 will be some sort of DLC thing that will cost X number of, you know, Microsoft points. Now, the reason this excites me. So, pretty much when you take any competitive game, whether it's StarCraft, Counter-Strike, Halo, whatever, as the players start to get better and better and under understand the game more and more, they s there starts to be this splinter of competitive players. And as the game ages and people play the game more, it splinters off even farther. And eventually, it creates this entire different world of the game, where you're pretty much playing a completely separate game if you're playing the competitive side or the casual side. And eventually, those two worlds lose relevancy. And I think this is even more of an issue in the Halo games, because of how much customization there is. So pretty much, if I go into the custom game settings, I can make hundreds of different unique games. Like, you look at the playlist, you have the sniper guys, the big team battle guys, the multi-team guys, the team slayer guys, the lone wolves guys, the MLG guys. And they're, now that the game has aged so much, it's created these entire different worlds of players and play styles and games and those worlds lose relevancy with each other and what I mean by that is an example would be like when I go to school and eat lunch I sit with one person who is an MLG guy he plays the game a lot and has a really good understanding of the game but everybody else they're just casual guys they don't play very much if at all so we don't really have anything to talk about because me and the MLG guy, we like to talk strategies and all this different stuff that requires a really deep understanding of the game that these other people just don't have. But there's one thing that I noticed that was really cool around the time Reach came out is that we did have something relevant to talk about in terms of Halo. We talked about the story because in the campaign when you're experiencing the story. It doesn't matter if you're the worst of the worst or the best of the best, because you're all experiencing the same story. So around the time it came out, we all played Halo Reach and the campaign, and we could talk about it to each other. We could talk about the storyline twists and the characters and the different plot points and all this stuff and the different things that we experienced, and it was really, really cool. But, of course, 
the campaign is only so long, there's only, only so much story there, so those conversations were quickly exhausted, and eventually we didn't have anything to talk about, and again, we lost relevancy with each other. But this is what gets me so excited about Spartan Ops, is that you will never lose relevancy with any communities. You'll always have something to talk about in terms of Halo, because every week that storyline will continue and extend, and you can even predict what's going to happen in the next episode like you would in a TV show, and talk about what you thought of your thoughts about the previous episode and all this stuff, and it'll be super, super cool. And I even think this could possibly help some of the bickering and anger there are between different communities, because pretty much no one has anything to talk about in these separate worlds to each other, so they a lot of times just resort to talking about how much better they are than the other person and all this stuff. And I know this will happen regardless, no matter what, there will be those people that do that. But I think it might help a little bit, because you'll actually be able to have a conversation with someone who is in one of those separate worlds of Halo play, and be able to talk about it. And I think that's super duper cool. Also, Spartan Ops just looks really fun to play, and I cannot wait to play it. Halo 4 is coming right around the corner, it's only a few months out, and I'm super excited for it. But that does it for this video today. Of course, if you liked the video, you can leave a comment or leave a like, but if you really, really liked the video, you can subscribe because there will be a lot more Halo stuff coming down the line. Last thing I want to say, though, is that I'm starting kind of a schedule sort of thing. So, stuff that you can expect for the weeks to come are Mondays and Tuesdays will be Halo days. There will be some sort of commentary type thing. Wednesdays will be a day that I live commentary just whatever random game. It could be like Counter-Strike or it could be Dota 2, something like that. Right now though, there might not be one this Wednesday because I'm still figuring out how to record the game sound and my mic sound at the same time. So that might not happen this week, but I'm hoping that I can get that figured out in time and I'll probably be playing Counter-Strike because I just got into the global offensive closed beta. Now, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday will again be Halo days and then Sunday will be just a random video day, whatever I feel like putting out. It could be like a montage, it could be another Toast Bomb Plays video, it could be anything, so you won't know what to expect on that day. But anyways, again, thanks for watching. That does it for this video, so see ya.